the same. Some ain't got no blankets, but some are like heaven, honey, more than I could ever hold. Got a 1959 Dodge Convertible. Uh, these are cool radios. Uh, got some smudges on it there. I've been touching it. Uh, I like it because it's got the bigger lights in it. Uh, plus, we can access the lighting in the knobs, which are which are real cool. Uh, shut it off uh, you lose your light in here in the, the upper light it's a it's a pretty neat radio we've done a full Aurora design conversion in it it now has a AM and FM stereo auxiliary in four channels out 45 watts a channel it's got a full rack of pre outs on it so you can add an amp to each speaker and a sub uh, we're going to be putting a lot of speakers in it that are, that are going with it and a sub in the convertible. And uh, it's got USB port. This is your harness you'll be getting. You ac actually can hide it. This will play a thumb drive which comes with it with the video on it, music. This will also charge your phone, your devices. You can mount it around the hole, put it in this bracket. Uh, Auxiliary in right above here, which you get a mail to mail cord for that. We'll be demonstrating that how that works. It's automatic. Uh, Bluetooth, hand free phone calls, voice command, voice assistance. What's really cool is this way this radio looks, it's it's huge. It's a big radio. I like the, the big dials on it, the big numbers. And it has voice ID, which is real neat in the AM radio because at any time you want to know where you're at on FM, you don't have no numbers, all you do is press this little push button right here, which you can hide anywhere underneath the lip of the dash in cigarette lighters. Uh, and then she tells you what station you're on. That's real neat. Uh, also, it will scan your stations for you, and we're going to demonstrate all of it. Got a balance and fader built in your uh, treble control. That's my station I like here. That's a pretty neat station. Make sure I don't have no glare going on here. I didn't get the knobs with it. I, I, I ain't even looked it up to see what kind they are. So I just stuck a set of knobs on it so we could demonstrate it. And it cleaned up real, real good. Right now you're on FM. And we'll go through a few things that you're seeing. You got a, a, a small LED over here. It's a status LED. It changes colors depending on what the radio's doing. Over here you have a uh, stereo LED. It lights up when you find a stereo channel. Two four affected to cause only. Uh, we have all the push buttons so you can pull them out and preset them. All right. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show you the voice ID, which is neat. Right now you're on FM, according to this little light. I'm going to go to AM radio, you just turn it off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio, light goes to red. At any time you want to know what channel you're on, station, just... AM 650. Gives you voice ID, back off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. FM 89.5. That's pretty cool. Uh... It's basically pretty simple. Now, there's two ways to put it in scanning mode, and this radio works either way real great. Uh, you can do it by prep, tapping this, this uh, push button four times, and it will start scanning for stations without the needle moving. Or you can just take it and turn it up twice on the tuner. Let's do that. Let's put it in scanning mode. We're going to use this. Scanning for stations with each other. We now, let's go start scanning for stations the without the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to find that state, how to lock on a station to actually even find where it is on the dial in case you want to do a preset and save it. You do this, go down the road, let it find you a station. It's still scanning. You notice a little light over here kind of pulsating. That means it's scanning. At moneywise.org, questions at moneywise.org. We'll be right back.
say you like that station there, all you do is turn it once. Station hold. She'll lock on it for you. When she says that, you can start moving it if you want to find it. There it is. Pull it out and preset it. That's how that works. You can also do it with the push button. Press it four times. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. Online. Like that station there, just three times. One, two, three. I'm gonna station hold. She'll lock on it for you. Do the same thing as the tuner. Now we're gonna do a fader and balance. I'm not sure what the the inside knob here, but you have fader and balance uh, built in your tone. And I'll show you why you want to do this when you set the speakers up so you can hear them all. We're gonna do the same thing. Wide open treble, wide open bass. Let's go halfway, and let's go into fader. We're gonna use the push button. It's a quick tap and hold down. One, two. Fader adjust. There's your rears, there's your fronts. As long as you're moving this, it'll stay in that mode till you find what you like. Let's balance it out. All you do is stop, she'll set it. Fader set. All right, let's go into balance right and left. Two quick taps and hold. One, two, hold. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Balance it out. Let's let her set it. Just stop moving it. Balance set. Back on treble and bass. That's how that works. Uh, and then, of course, anytime you want to know where you're at, just one quick push. 89.5. All right. That's neat. Let's do auxiliary in. Pull out your little male male cord. I don't You got so many options on this thing. Plug it in. We're going to put a little uh, MP3 player on it. You can actually uh, put anything you want on it CD changers, XM radio. Your phone, MP3 players, uh, satellite radio, whatever you want to, anything that puts out a signal like this. All you do is just press play. Automatically changes over. Does help by push all the cords in. I got a two room. Those little lights gone green, that means auxiliary in. Low battery. I knew that was coming, the same about dead. Anytime you're on the auxiliary in device and you want to go back to radio, just take that device and turn it off. You don't even have to unplug it. And in 20 seconds, if you don't touch the radio, it'll automatically change back to where we had it. And we're going to let it do that, but if you want to shorten that 20 seconds during that time, just turn it off and back on like you're cycling from AM to FM. It remembers. Let's let it automatically change back over. Should be getting close. There it goes. That's how your auxiliary end works. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. We're going to do the initial pair up. You'll do the same thing on your phone. It will take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So if you're the guy or girl that wants to answer all the phone calls, it'll break in, give you a text, whatever sound you got, amber alerts, a whole nine yards. Bring our phone up on Bluetooth. And let's uh, pair it up. You can turn this up twice, volume, or hold this down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Show it up on her phone. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when, she, when it's complete. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Now we're connected up. Now we're going to do a voice command. This thing is full. You got a mic that's built right behind this little push button. You can't see it. Plus, you get an extra mic. We're going to check this one out. And uh, we're going to do a voice command. You can hold this down again. Now that you know it's lit up. Or you can turn this up twice. Let's bring our phone up. Let's do a voice command. Mm -hmm. 
play music. Now we're on music on my phone. You can uh, do um, call home if you got a list at home or call Bob, however you want to do it. Look up restaurants, wherever you want to do. Anything your smartphone's capable of doing. Now we're on music and want to advance your music. There's two ways of doing it, three actually. You can press that once to advance. Twice to back up a repeat, depending on how long you're into the song. You can do it right here. Back up, forward, phone call comes in, it'll override whatever radio, whatever you got it doing. She'll say incoming call, all you do is turn this up one click on your dial to answer it, or press this once, answer your call. When you're done, you can let it hang up on its own, it'll go back to doing whatever you had it doing, or if you want to end the call, down on your needle twice on your push button to end the call and go back to doing whatever you're doing. Let's do a voice command. Let's do it with a, we done it with this. Let's do it with this. Hold this down. Stop music. You didn't hear stop, did you? Let's do it again. Stop music. Back on radio. Now you're gonna be in a convertible, so you're gonna have a lot of wind noise. And if you if you don't want to use the voice command while you're driving, you get an extra mic so you can plug it in where it says mic and run it closer to you. That might help you some. Setting still, you can use this one, no problem. Uh, you don't have to use voice command unless your hands are tied up doing something else you can just go to music and hit play automatically change over if you find or you can actually just Turn it off, and it'll go back to radio and cycle back around. That's how your uh, Bluetooth and everything works. We're going to let it go back to radio since we turned it off. And it, this little blue light kind of on back on radio. Tune in Sundays for Sunday Sermon, a collection of the most effective and fruitful sermons. Now we're going to do the USB. You'll get one of these, video on it, music on it. You can take, out, take that redneck stuff I put on there off because I like all kinds of different stuff, blues and everything else. And put yours on here. This is uh, music I won't get in trouble with. Plug it in, go straight to it. Now you can hide this thing because you can work it off from right here. Advance the same way you do on your phone. Twice to back up a repeat. You can even do it with your push buttons. Now, if you hide this thing, the only time you gotta take this out if you wanna charge your phone and put a new thumb drive in. I have a lot of people make up thumb drives and read your instructions that tells you how to do it. You can put a whole album on different thumb drives and just plug it in and let it play all day long. Or scream your music from your, your phone. Got some dirt on it there, I gotta get off. And uh, since you can hide this thing, there's two ways to put it in pause. You can hold this down one second, put it in pause. It's going to go right back to radio. It's going to cycle back around. One second to go back to it. Back to it. You can also do it with the volume knob. We went up for Bluetooth, go down. One, two. Put it in pause, right back to radio. You can go back to it that way. Back to it. Depends on how long you put it in pause, whether it goes back to the same song or not, because it's still kind of computerized. 
Now don't forget these radios do not require 12 volt consistence. So if you change your battery or store the car and take the battery off of it, when you put it back to it, it'll go right back to doing what you had it done. Still got the original background light. And then we lit these up. And all this will come on when you turn your dash lights on. It's wired in, it's got a four pole switch in it, the original. That way when you turn the dash lights on, this is what you get. You can have it either way, whichever way you want it. You can have it where these come on with the dash lights and these come on with the radio. All you gotta do is let me know what you want. Let's go back to radio just by doing that. It's your original 1951 Dodge convertible. I'm not sure what Dodge it is, but it's a cool radio. And everything is here, ready to go. I'm going to send you the video, and we'll get her ready to go for you. Thank you.